The value-added tax, or VAT, is coming in preparation for the introduction of the new tax regime next year. The VAT implementation project team began its consultations with the Chamber of Commerce last Thursday. It was the first in a series of meetings ahead of the implementation of VAT. Public relations specialist Kurt Reynolds says several genuine concerns relating to the transitional issues of the tax system were raised during the meeting with the Chamber of Commerce. The question has been posed as to how a business handles inventory on which they've already paid some taxes that a VAT will replace. And what we're saying is we are looking at what has happened in other jurisdictions. How have they dealt with it? We are trying to take those um, lessons and transpose them into our own environment and work with the businesses. We have to work with them to ensure that whatever the proposal we make is actually something that is going to be in their benefit. Reynolds says once implemented, VAT will be a replacement for existing taxes like the consumption tax. However, he says officials want to ensure VAT does not have an adverse effect on St. Lucians. Reynolds says the VAT implementation project team will meet with the permanent secretaries in the ministries of trade and finance and other social policy partners on Wednesday to discuss the new tax system. Yeah, we're meeting with the social uh, policy partners and that would include the Ministry of Social Transformation, Education and Health as well as representatives from the private and public sector. Um, we're trying to ensure that we get a very comprehensive um, approach or we take a very comprehensive approach to our social policies because like we keep saying we want to ensure VAT does not adversely affect the lives of vulnerable groups. Although there have been indications that VAT will be implemented soon, not much has been said about the tax system and how it will come into effect. Reynolds says emphasis is now being placed on educating stakeholders, particularly ordinary St. Lucians, about the value-added tax. He says the national consultations is designed to reach the ordinary St. Lucians soon. What we're going to do is to go to every single community, spend no less than one week there, have a base in that community, have town hall meetings. We are not going to shy away from it to discuss the value at the tax system with everybody. But we need to ensure that when we get to the community, we are able to say to these persons that a VAT affects your lives in A, B, and C. So before we can arrive at those ABCs, we have to do all the legwork, we have to do all the consultations with the larger organizations. So when we get down to the average man, we can say to them exactly how a VAT will affect them how it will benefit them, and of course, that they will understand the concepts of the VAT system. Value-added taxes levied on most goods and services. Consumers are expected to pay higher prices for food products once VAT is implemented. Reynolds says all systems for the implementation of the value-added tax will be in place by March 31st, 2010. Thereafter, government will decide when VAT will be implemented. Shannon LeBon, HTS News. Channel 4.